Gonna do some barbecue bacon burgers today on my Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle. You wanna stick around for this one. It's Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, also welcome to my kitchen, so glad you're here. Listen guys, we're gonna jump right into this one. We're gonna make some big old beautiful barbecue bacon burgers. It's a heck of a lot of bees right there. And we're gonna do it on a Ninja Foodie Grill, seven in one, the griddle, the grill. We're coming together on both of them. Guys, I got my support your local pit master hat on today in honor of these barbecue bacon burgers, right? They're gonna turn out amazing. And we're gonna use two features on our grilling griddle. We're gonna use the griddle feature real quick to do the bacon. We're gonna fry up that bacon. You know you gotta have a lot of bacon on your barbecue bacon burger, right? And then we're gonna grill our burger patties in the grill. All right, so it's gonna be real simple. Gonna go in two parts. The first thing you're gonna need on this one is well, of course, burgers. I have some half pound Wagyu burgers. You're gonna need your buns. You're gonna need bacon. We got some pepper jack and sharp cheddar cheese. I'm gonna throw these crispy fried onions on top too. And of course, you need a little rabbit food in there. And to finish it all up, you're gonna need any kind of all purpose seasoning and your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm using Cosmos Q SPG for the seasoning, which is just a salt, pepper, garlic. And I'm gonna be using Cosmos Q OPX1. Guys, you can use whatever all purpose barbecue seasoning and, and sauce you, you have. But if you wanna get these, I'll put a link down below to CosmosQ.com. Nothing left to do, but get over to the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as, say it with me, my kitchen island. Let's get started. All right, first step, we're gonna do our bacon. We're gonna turn this to the griddle setting over here. 400 degrees, 30 minutes. We're gonna cook this till it's done. Let's get the preheating started. We'll get our bacon on and then we'll work on the burgers. We're still waiting for the griddle to preheat, so let's go ahead and get our burgers set up. We're just gonna use a little SPG. Now these are some massive burgers. Like I said, they're half pound burgers. The burger I'm making for this video, we'll have two of these patties. We're gonna do some double burgers. All right, the fan is kicked on for the preheating on the grill, so we're almost there. The burgers are gonna sit here and let that good seasoning absorb while we cook that bacon. Uh, these are big old half pound burgers. We're gonna do a two patty burger. It was like a one pound barbecue bacon burger. So you know it's gonna be good. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hardcore right here. We got everything ready to roll. We'll be ready to get these things cooking. All right, come on back. Preheating on the grill, nice and hot. I'm gonna get some good sizzle sizzle going on. Sizzle. Get five pieces on there. We got four for the burger and one for the chef. All right, our bacon's getting nice and crispy. Right when it's done, we'll go ahead and pull off that griddle plate and then we'll set the grill up. Okay, our bacon's finishing up. All right, smells so good in here. Once this is done, we're going to carefully remove the griddle plate. I have these little silicone holders so you don't burn yourself. Dispose of the oil however you dispose of your oil. You know, I personally like to keep my bacon grease. You know, that stuff's like liquid gold, but you do you, okay? And then we're gonna shut it down and set up the grill on the high setting. Really simple, just a couple steps. All right. Okay, we're ready to set up the grilling. Let's hit on high. It's ready to go, it's like already preheated. We're gonna go ahead and get these burgers on. We're gonna do two at a time, because these things are monsters. All right, go ahead and season up the other side. All right, we're gonna shut it down so it heats from both sides. We're gonna go for a nice medium. So if there's a little pink, it's not a big deal. Burgers are on, they're going, they're grilling. They're gonna be great. Once we flip them, we're gonna brush them down with some barbecue sauce. And then a couple minutes after that, we'll let that sauce tighten up. Then we'll throw our cheese on, give it about a minute to kind of melt on there. Should be good to go. These burgers shouldn't take longer than, you know, four or five minutes on each side. So when it automatically set it up at 10 minutes, that works for me. And like I said, I don't mind if it's a little medium in there. I like a little pink in my burger, so. And this is obviously high quality beef, so I'm not worried about it. You guys cook it as long as you guys want, okay? Okay, we got the first four minutes up. Let's give these a flip. Look at them grill marks. 
There we go. And now we're gonna cover up those grill marks with some good barbecue sauce. Make sure we got it brushed on. Guys, this is going to caramelize and get and be a sticky mess in there, but that's okay. Nice little barbecue burgers. All right, we're gonna shut it down, let it tighten up for a couple minutes, and then add the cheese and finish it off. Ooh, those are looking good. Let's get our cheese on. We're gonna do one with pepper jack. Do our little star of flavor right there. Uh, another one, we got some cheddar. The cheddar makes it better. We're gonna let the last minute go with just the cheese melted on there. And we're ready to build this burger. All right, our burgers are looking beautiful right there. Melty, cheesy, delicious. All right, let's build this burger. Got a toasted up bun right here. Let's go ahead and put our burgers on. Set up that first one. I went ahead and toasted the buns because, well, it's gonna make a mess, and I need a sturdy bun on the bottom. All right. Get some of these crispy onions on top. Start placing our bacon across. I think we could use three big old strips hanging off. What do you guys say? You want four? All right, if I have to. Four strips of bacon. Let's get our bunny food on there. This thing's gonna be a monster. Some tomato. Right. <laughs> oh, this is outrageous. Love it. Let's crown that bad boy. And just so it don't go nowhere. Let's go ahead and get something in it. How do you say? Oh, I love it. Looking too good. <laughs> Look at that. That's going crazy right there. All right, let's see if we can get in there and try it. Taking all the pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the rabbit food on here. I ain't got no time for all that. I'll go ahead and crown it off again. <laughs> I don't know if there's a better way to do this. And we're just gonna slice down. And we'll take a bite. Let's go. We're gonna go ahead and take a bite. <laughs> Somehow. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. And my guy TD from TD's Brewing Q says you always gotta turn your burger upside down because it's so juicy, <laughs> the juice is loose, that the bottom bun is destroyed. <laughs> All right guys, let's, let's try this bad boy. Mm. I'm gonna bring out the towel for this one. <laughs> Man, that's too good. Mm. You want that little bit of rabbit food on there, you know it's good. Listen, if you dig a lot of barbecue sauce, you know, feel free to pour it over the burger. For me, I am not that saucy of a kind of guy, so I'd rather just kind of have it cooked onto the meat, to the protein. You'll see the same thing when I'm out on the barbecues outside. So it's your choice. If you like a lot of sauce, hook it up. But if you're like me, you like it chill, it's the way to do it. If you want to get yourself one of these new Ninja Foodie Grilling Griddles, the seven in one, be cool like me, make this. Hit that link down below. It's an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything more, but it helps out the channel. If you want to get my knives, cutting boards, merch, all that good stuff, it's all down below. Make sure you check it out. If you want to become part of CJ's crew for real and become a show producer, like all these lovely people right here, hit that join button right next to that subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, we are done. Listen, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.